Alrighty, welcome back. This might be, to me, this might be the one of the most um, groundbreaking experiences of my life. No, no, I say say my life, but my hot riding life. You know, building cars. This, this right here, this video, um, was the, one of the most things that I I took, I seen it be done. Um, I used it my own way. What I did is I watched somebody else do it, and then I decided to do it myself. And then I just kind of taught myself how I wanted to do it and make it easy as possible. So what I'm going to, going to do, and what I'm going to show you how I do it, is I'm going to make a floor for this chat, for this frame, and how I would fit it inside that to make that fit that. And uh, we're going to do it in an hour or less. Um, it's pretty basic. I don't want to make it anything other than that. Um, this is, to me, I think is one of the greatest things that uh, that I learned. That I, I could look at something like that. When you look at something like this, um, you see a lot of, a lot of probably a lot of people see junk. Um, what I see is the shell on the outside. I really enjoy a 35, 36 Ford. I really enjoy that. That's why I bought it. When I seen there was no floor in it and how rusty it was, it did not bother me because I knew that we could push it back in shape and tack the doors in place. And while the doors in place, once you get those doors tacked in, put in place, your car is basically where it's at. Other than looking at it and see if it's level or it's twisted. It's Saturday and it's fun being out here today. It really is. Jolene's looking amazing like she always does. But uh, we're going to make a floor real quick here and I hope that you enjoy it. And uh, if you do not enjoy it, show somebody else because they all know how to do it so they can get it done. And when you look at something like this, you're not scared. But basically what you do is you try to get your doors lined up and, and that's generally it, you know, square it up a little bit, get your door gaps going good, and that's the end of it. We want to put a floor in this thing and basically what goes on, there's only, well, there's three places that the floor connects to um, right off the get-go. You've got a, I guess they call that an A pillar where your door post goes down. That's very important. That has to be hooked on to that framework somehow. This B pillar has to be connected onto the framework. And your wheel wells have to be connected to your framework. And then generally the most, rest of it's all sheet metal work. But let's build a floor really quickly and uh, show you how I'm gonna get it done. What I'm gonna do is, basically what, what I think about when I make a floor, I think exact same thing as when you're building a house. You need, you need floor runners. You can walk across the floor when you board it in. You run your runners across and you board it in, then you can walk across the floor. Well, basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these all the way across. I'm gonna mount them and then I'm gonna do a couple little measurements and then I'm gonna connect them all together and you'll see a floor. So what do we got here? I'm just going to just slow down here my brain a little bit. Not usually really good with a tape measure. We're at 45 inches wide and the 45 inches wide was for this wheel, for here, and right over there, I wanted to be able to put that wheel, when that car goes down on there, if that wants to go down by that, that had to be narrow enough. This car, like Jolene said, is pliable. It can be moved in or out a little bit. Yes, it can. Does not hurt a bit. But what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna cut a, we know it's 45 inches, so if I go four feet, I'll cut five or six, four feet, and then we'll go from there. We're gonna do that. Let's go over here, we'll cut a bunch, four feet. Get me glasses. I had them damn things, where did I, I set them down over there? Had me gloves too. Forget my glasses, forget my head. That's okay, we'll get started anyways. Can't start with my glasses, but. What's that? Okay, I just had the damn things. I did, I did, I did, I just had them. Oh, I'm gonna wear the black set today. Let's see if we can get this floor done. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cr cut some cross members. I am not going to worry about nothing as I'm cutting them because we're just making cross members and I'll explain as I go. Uh, we've got a chassis there and we wanna put this down on top of it. If you noticed or not, I don't know if you noticed or not, or if I've told you, I guess, this is where the front end should be. I've got the front end way out here. I've changed that so much, like it's, it's changed probably a foot or more, but this is where the front end should be. And if the front, when it, front end was there, that means the rear end should be back here. So I've changed this car quite a bit, if you have not noticed. When this body goes on, 
your, your, our, our cabin's probably going to go to about here. And because of the wheelbase that we've changed, that means I want to fit the back wheel wells to the tires. That means this body's got to come ahead because I've jammed the, the front end ahead. So now we've got half the motor being covered in the firewall of this car. I uh, don't know whether you know that or not, but I wanted to point it out. And as I put this floor in, I only, I, it doesn't matter to me, you know, how the floor is made, I guess. It does not matter. But this car here, the floor has to fit the frame. I mean, you can, pretty hard to build something inside the car and expect it to fit over there. We were building to fit that, so why not use it right there? We'll go four feet, start cutting. I don't know if I made sense in any of that or not. Just cut some four footers and go from, go from there. And this can be done for anything, like this is, can be done for anything. If you have a chassis and you want to put a car down on top of it, this can be done for anything. I'm doing it for this. I could, over, I could overwhelm myself with measurements and complication and a whole bunch of stuff. I could overwhelm myself, but I don't think I want to. That's a good one, too. I'm going to use that. I'm going to use that. Let's see what we got going on here. So we got some. These are four-footers. This is a 46. This is too long for the back, but this can start there. That can start there. And I'm just going with wherever I see the holes. Do not worry about the, don't, don't worry about that right now. Do not worry about that. Let's make this as simple as possible. And it's just as if I'm framing up my house. Exact same thing, I'm just putting a floor on and I'm not trying to complicate it one bit. Let's, we don't want to complicate it. It's no sense doing that. All that'll do is ruin your day. All right, one, two, three, four, is that enough? Yeah, it's, it's quite a heavy car. I'll cut, another, I'll cut another one. We need another four footer. I like cutting from this end better. Wash your feet there, sweetheart. Got some rear ends yesterday. We went to the junkyard, found rear ends. We got a rear end for Jolene's car. Whoop, whoop. We got a rear end for this car. Whoop, whoop. I like this hole there for some reason. That's why I like that one. We can come back. One. Just separate them out. We're going to have a seat right here, so we want. I want it fairly. Um, what can I say? Rugged. All righty. Let's get some plasma cutter. Cut some holes and get it mounted right away. There's no sense messing with it. I don't think is there. I can tack them on. And do I want to tack them on or bolt them on? If I bolt them on, then that means they're already drilled and ready to rock and roll. If I tack them on, I got to cut them off. Let's let's make it right ready to rock and roll. I'm just going to use this for cutting my holes as quick as I can. I'm going to plug the air compressor in the back of the plasma cutter. Basically, what I'm doing here, what I'm doing here is, is, is making it as 
quick as possible and uh, making it as easy as possible. And uh, that's basically what a floor is on a house. You just run stringers across. I'm going to worry about the dry shaft later when I get the floor made. Once I get the floor made, then I can set the car down on. Then I can worry about whenever that comes in. I can lay a piece of square tubing on top of that. I'll explain that later. Just want to set this thing up and get rocking and rolling. There's a hole right there on that side, so we can bolt that right there. That'd be nice. Oh, I need a marker. There are a pair of sunglasses in my pocket, not markers. Oh, I put my glasses in my pocket. That's where they are. I didn't lose them at all. I had them in my pocket. I'm just going to quickly put some holes in this. I'm just going to look at either side and see if it's okay. Because this one does not matter. This one does not matter. Uh, I want to put it over here. we got a hole right here. I'm going to box this in. And I'm going to have to make a couple places here where, where you got U-bolts that will bolt this rear end in. I'm going to box this. But I'll be able to get at this mount right here through this hole. And I'm just taking a look where it is. And uh, I'm going to make a couple holes in the chassis. And I'll make a couple holes in the sheet metal or the square tubing. And then uh, we'll put the first bolt in that one to hold it down. Let's get this hooked up to the chassis. Turn her on. All right. Let's do this. even it out on both sides I'm just looking on both sides see if it's even I'm gonna have to I'll show you here in a second it does not matter if it's not perfect right away let's get our, our hole drilled so we can get them the same and I'll just draw a line down so I gotta do the other side of the square tubing so I'll just draw a line straight down, and then I'll know where the hole is on the other side. down to the other hole. Awesome. Awesome. So I'm gonna do right now. Get some bolts. Hope I got some long enough. Hmm. They might be long enough. They might be long enough. Just gonna set them in there for now. I'm not gonna knot them, I don't think. Maybe I should. Three quarter inch. Yeah. Yeah. Hold it in place, I guess. Good enough. Here's our first one. Let's do another one. Um, let's kind of get the tape measure and just divide that up and see if I can make them all look somewhat the same distance apart. Do a foot just to make it a 
Wow. Tire hole. Tire hole. Want to see if there's enough on each side, about the same. Two inch. Ugh. And it's basically the same. Should have drew my line. Makes it easier. I know where the mark is or the, where, it, where it's burnt, but it might be burnt on an angle. Who knows? Screw down in there. Maybe I'm getting the getting them so good I have to screw it together. Well, I have to play with this one a little bit. Ouch. I'm gonna hit that with the hammer. Mess with that a little bit. Guess they're just kind of pinning them there, I guess. So, they, so I know they fit. Hot, 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 hot. She's pinned to fit. That's all I need. Let's do another one. What did I do? A foot. Repeat. I'm gonna get on my gloves, burnt my fingers twice. Burnt my fingers twice. Basically, all I'm doing is putting the rafters in your house, studding her across, and then after we can put the floor pans on after. We also can do the transmission tunnel after, but we have to have a floor to start with, and uh, that's what I'm doing.
Extra metal there. It's beautiful here in Nova Scotia today. Beautiful. Isn't it, baby? The sun is shining. Yes, I'll just pull that back. Just measure it with my hands. I'm just going like this. See, I'm going to get my fingers touched the same. Basically, that's it. That's what I'm doing. Draw the line. So I can give me somewhere to go for in the next shot. Get a couple more of those bolts there. You can put them as wide apart as you want to. You can have them six inches. You can have them 10 inches. You can have them 14 inches. It doesn't matter. It's your floor. You, you, uh, you decide whatever you feel is the strength you need. I just don't want to put too many floor braces in it and get it going too heavy. Uh, we just want to hold it on there. Just pinning them, that's all. Didn't like that. My hammer out here would be nice. That go down through, does it? Most certainly does. Just like that. Good enough. Let's do another one. Now, right here, I think I'm going to go right there because I don't want to set it on top of that and mess up. I need to get sort of a thing going on there. I probably. This is where the seat's going to be. We can put one there. See where her foot is. I had these ones going. This one fell out, obviously. Yeah. I just want to make sure they're in the. They'll bolt down, that's all. That's what I'm pinning them for. Just make sure they're bolt down. 12. Quarter. Eleven and eight. That's good enough for me. Just marking the mark. Ah, which one is it? <laughs>
just seeing the same distance. Three and a half. Three and a quarter. Beautiful. This is how I've done a lot of cars. The 40 Plymouth is done this way. Uh, the Bat of the Hell was done this way. Not the Bat of Hell. The Cannon Kid was done this way. Uh, there's a few cars I've done this way. And it, because of making it easier, trying to make it easy as possible to get it done. When you look at a floor underneath the car, me and Joanie were in the junkyard the other day looking at the bottom of the floor. They had some wild bends going on. There's just nothing have to be wild about a floor at all. Why not have a flat floor? What, what, what does it hurt? It doesn't hurt anything. And you can make some, make some kick-ass panels to put in there and make it look nice. Come on now. Three and a quarter's the mark. <laughs> Beautiful. Three and a quarter's the mark, right? It would be nice to have them nut it down. Yes, it would. Just don't know if I get any bolts that long, that big. Alrighty, let's go for another one. And it's kind of, <clears throat> we can go a, a foot on this one. Have another one there. Ba, 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 ba. Yeah, we can do that. Let's do that. Let's put one right here. There's a hole right there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna nail it it's right there. Why not? It's right there. ground. It's going to use this hole. <clears throat> yeah, this was groundbreaking for me building a hot rod. And the reason being was because I could build a floor for anything. Wouldn't it didn't matter what it was. No, it was a didn't matter what it was. Four and an eighth. That's long enough nuts for those of wood. We'll see what has to, has to happen. Get off the hole. Four and an eighth. Uh, let's bring it back to four. See if that works. We're gonna cut some of this off, but I wanna have enough on each side. That works. Now that works. Put that on there. Just up. You can do the same. You can do the same. Or you can do it your way. You can make it. What I suggest though is, <clears throat> is to start it out like this. You can make it elaborate as you want to as you get going, as you start cutting stuff out. But you need to get them cross members in. Get them in quick, and then you can build off of that.
bigger. We have, this, is, this shows the chassis and the transmission. I'm thinking that these are the front mounts where it used to mount before, because I've got these way up there. You can see the front mounts on this one. They're way up there. Not, not worried about that whatsoever, because I'm taking this and putting it inside that. Not using that. No doubt in my mind I'm not. This is what I'm gonna do. Now, where I have all the cross members in, I'm not worrying about anything else right now at the present moment because just getting started uh, but as i got the cross members all in that should hold the car it will hold the car for sure it will now we're going to do this we need one that goes here and then move that all over the place just kind of it moves a little bit just want to make sure it still fits that's all i'm going to cut that i'm going to bring the grinder over and the zip cut i'll change the blade right at the present moment this cord over here alrighty good I'm just gonna take in my marker I'm gonna cut that I got this angle that I want that I'm looking at there's the angle I want come take a look if you want to see how I did that just kind of put my point there just kind of keep the same distance from the farthest part away same distance I'll cut that off Excuse me, sweetheart, I'm going to get the grinder. I'm going to cut this off. This piece here, it's right into the frame. It's, it's, it's well, built right in there. So what did I just took a, a nut, stuck it down over there to walk, to, to make it the distance I needed. And then we'll slide a, a nut down top. That will nut that down like your front mount. I cut this off. shy I did Y4 that was a bad cut not supposed to tell you that but <laughs> it, it is <laughs> let's make this one over here first because nothing's in the way for the pedal I think this one will fit over here hmm. 
I'm gonna bend it right there. That one's too shy. It's shy. I cut it shy is what I did, but I'm not, I'm not gonna use it. I'm gonna cut another one. I'm gonna cut another one. That's not the one I cut for that angle. That's that angle. I will not throw it away, obviously. Just use it in a different spot. Hoping I cut enough that time. And I still got a bit of bend in it. Yeah, I did. Maybe. Let's put a bend in it. Yeah, this second I gotta see where to make sure I bend it on the right spot. Throw this way, place. Like that, it's longer on this side, I think. Oh, that's not too much. Just a little bit. Get a hammer. Frame looks like it's got a little bend in there. I'm good with that. I'm going to weld it in there. Do the what I'm just going to tack it in there. That's my cross member. I'm going to tack it to it, keep it in place. And uh, we'll go from there. Welders needs to be plugged in. Welder is plugged in. Gas needs to be turned on. Here we go. Hoping this is in in place. Put a ground on there. Cross members in place. Cross members in place. Same distance. So I'm just looking at that hole there. Could probably come back a bit. Lay that right there. Buzz it on there for now. Probably shouldn't. And buzz this on. Yeah, I wonder if I should have a little bit off of that. No, we'll leave that where it's at. Try to get that the best where it's at. Away. Let's hook one up on that one. Is there a nut on that one? Cool. Not that much of a hurry. Your arm getting hard. We get, get wasps come by, eh? Huh? They're attacking my my sexy Jolene. My beautiful Jolene. Good. We'll bend this one first, I'm thinking. 
Just looking for the farthest distance apart, for something like that. Believe me, when you get the weight on it, it'll go in, it'll go in place. Eh, probably a little more than that. A little bit, a little bit more, and then I'll cut it off. Just a little bit more. Do it again, Chetty. Grab the longest end this time. More leverage. Ah, probably too far that time. But that's how it goes. Just a little bit too much. That a couple times too, maybe. I'm not sure. saw blade this doesn't require much measurement you can just go by the fly like I'm doing it I don't think anything I'm doing here is beyond anybody <laughs> no not beyond anybody anybody can do this that's for sure there's what we want Going to wire up, don't you? Wear a little bit out on that, just I'll take a look on that side before I plant that on there. Rope just a little bit on that side, just like I want it to be. Alrighty, let's turn this on. We'll plunk that one on. on that one corner that way there I can move it up here easier than I did that one I kind of socked that one right to her this one looks good I think I'll just weld it on I guess oh sorry see here like the little bit out here because when you when you do the when you do the floor of the car this is the flat part of the floor this is where you set now if you can picture it your frame is well you see the frame here now what there is is there's a floor then there's an inside sill and then what happens is where the quarter panel or the doors on that the quarter panel comes down around and spot welds together to the sill so I like to 
I don't know if I'm, I'm not setting this one down over the chassis. I want to see the chassis. So I'm making it a high boy, not going down over. If I was going down over, I would have my, have my square tubing from here all the way along. I still, I'm still going to have that. Yes, I am. But I put a skirt on the side, probably a foot long, so I could bring the car up and down to where I like it. And then I bring my sill around to meet it. That makes sense. I hope it does. Uh, da, 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 da. We're there, we're there. That looks good. That looks good. Alrighty. What's gonna happen is let's let's do this. Let's turn that off. Let's do the outside of it now. Let's do a couple measurements. On on this vehicle right here. I know from this side to that side, because we know we have our wheel right there. That's where the that's where the wheel wheel well is. And I want the wheel well to fit on the outside of this. The outside of that, and we're, we're saying it's 45. That's the widest part of the chassis. It's the widest part of the chassis. So we know we have to cut these at 45. We have to cut these right off at the side of the chassis. That's what we have to do. You see this one here? This one here is a little bit longer on each end because of, I know it's 40. Just cut a little, leave a little bit on that one. We'll cut this one off. Okay, so if I do that, I can open the car up if I want to. Now, this is where the wheel well is. So when I put my square tubing in here, this square tubing here is going to go against the inside of this. All right, get the zip cut. I need a longer cord. I'm gonna take the one from the welder. Let's do this. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Tape measure, I gotta do that again. I just gotta figure this out for a second. 45, 45. Yeah, we're gonna, that's 45. We got a half inch there, so we got a quarter inch on either side. Let's cut them off. Forty-five. I still want to put a piece on the outside. That means I'm going to add three quarters of an inch on either side. Let's not do that. Let's not do that. Let's figure this out again. Forty-five is the distance inside. So if I'm going to add three quarters, we got an inch and a half. Add an inch and a half on either side. Mm. Three, four, 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 three quarter. That means 43 and a half. 43 and a half. Nope, it's going to cut it off. Okay. Gonna have to add my outside skirt on that, and it's gonna give me a little bit. If you know what I'm trying to say, um, the outside skirt, this is 45, the, the frame is 45. I wanna go, as I cut that, when I put the three quarter inch on the outside, you'll see here in a second. It's good. Turn around. This 
quarters of an inch. I'm gonna eye it up because I can. So you can see this part here. This is where the wheel well is going to go in here. I got to piece. Well, I got to. I got to keep going to let you know what I'm doing. I guess. Uh, I must show this. I got to show this. From, I know, from at least there. From there to there, we'll say we'll say 20 inches. I know that this is quarter panel. So I can come 20 inches from this one and mark where my door starts. That's where my door starts, 20 inches from, from the front of that, we'll say. That's where the door starts, door. That's a post right there, somewhere as close as a post there. <clears throat> somewhere as close as a post there. And the door is, Forty-one and a half inches long, so we know the door's not going to end up here somewhere. Crazy, eh? We'll be lucky to get that carburetor inside the. We'll be lucky to get the carburetor in without getting it. In. Anyways, it is what it is. Da 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 da. I know that this post here, from inside this post and inside that post, is fifty-one. Does not matter. Does not matter. Because I'm going to, this is, let's put this back on. Hope I'm not complicating it. Just run the cross, stringers across. And I just have to make sure I don't make it too wide that it won't go down over. Too narrow is fine. Too wide is not allowed. that off. Door post is 51 and our mark is 44 and a half. We're, we're, way, we're way beyond inside the door, no problem at all.
The reason I'm letting, go, let, let, I'm letting them go past the frame is because I know it fits inside the car. That should be, I just wanna check this out and see what's going on, see what that's doing. We're at two and, two and a quarter, a little bit strong, two and a quarter. Or not two, yeah, two and a quarter, strong, two and a quarter. <laughs> Look at that, strong, two and a quarter, it's good. It's good. Uh, da, 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 da. Now, let's connect it together. I might connect, do that all in one piece, maybe. I'm not sure. No, I think I'm going to cut this off down here, get this going right. Cut, had to figure that out, had to cut that in a little bit because we're adding three quarters of an inch to it. The car is pliable, remember? Jolene, give me that word before we started. it. Does that get hard in your arms after a while, baby? You're looking good. Sure, I want to clean some more. Good. connect it together. Something in me. Yow. I knew there was something in me. See that tack in my foot? Nice, eh? I'm going to connect these ones together. Is that... I'm going to put that right there like that. Just for a second. Get my grinder. I don't know. Go in there. Maybe I split that too much. Lots. I've got to plug it in. That's okay. Wrong one. I don't know if I should have cut that or tried to bend that, but I can weld that back together. It's no problem. Just want to tack it on back here. Set over a little bit. Get my line here. I can cut it. Get 
getting it close before I tack it all on. Getting it close. That one's in place, that one's in place. Just make sure they're all in place. Make sure they're all in place. Woo! Didn't want to do that. <laughs> Didn't want to do that. What's that, baby? What? That one's in there. Can you push that thing down in for me, maybe? No, the bolt, okay. I wanted the bolt, but I'll go down in. There we go. I guess it doesn't matter until I get to that side. 